These are the three sizes that flex meter wrist guards come in. Small, medium, large. This is a 12 inch ruler and we've got a penny and a quarter to help you with size reference. Now let's flip them over and show you what's on the other side. The small wrist guard is 7 inches long. The medium is about eight and a half inches long and the large is almost nine and a half inches long. And you can see that there's not a huge difference in the size of the medium and the large, but the important thing is how it fits. The width of the small at the flex zone is one and three quarters and at the medium it's about a two and on the large it's also about a two but as you can see it's the hand size this is where your hand is going to go that's really going to be important so if you have a big hand you want the large if you have a smaller medium sized hand you want the medium and for a very small hand it's the small these all adjust at the wrist so the wrist measurement is really not crucial because there's velcro or a hook at the wrist and they're adjustable so when, I, when people call to ask me for help, I ask how tall they are. And if they have longer bones and bigger hand size, then they're probably going to need a larger size. I'm wearing the small, and as you can see, the flex zone of the wrist guard lines up with the flex in my wrist. And that is what you want, because that's how it's going to stop you from going too far. I could probably also wear the medium. The important thing is... Is the end of the wrist guard going to stick into my fingers if I fall down? And it's really not, but if this didn't fit me right, that could happen. So if you feel it sticking into your fingers, then you probably want to get a different size. This is the large flex meter wrist guard. It's really too big. As you can see, it goes way past my knuckles. In a pinch, I could wear this, but this is not really my preferred size. The FlexMeter single wrist guard has a soft neoprene-like fabric on the palm side. It's totally flexible. This is the first FlexMeter that was invented, and this is the one that was proven, tested and proven to reduce wrist injuries by 67 to 85%. So in most and many cases, this one will work fine. For people who skateboard or who want extra protection underneath their snowboard glove, this is the FlexMeter all-season wrist guard. And as you can see, it's got some hard material. It's not hard, it's actually flexible, but it's got some structure to the palm side. This is the all season wrist guard that I'm wearing here, and it has a sliding puck for skateboarding, and that's removable for snowboarding. It's attached by Velcro put it away until the spring. Here we have the top of the line, the premium product. This is the FlexMeter glove. Small with the red splint inside, medium with the gray splint, and large has a black or blue splint inside. You can see the relative sizes here. I wore a small flex meter and from my wrist to the end of my middle finger it's about seven inches and that correlates to the size of from here on the glove to the tip of the middle finger that's about seven inches on the medium it's about eight and a quarter and on the large it's a little over eight and a half inches with a slightly wider palm as well the wrist guard is built in it is not designed to come out. People ask me that all the time. Can you take it out? Nope, it's sewn right in there. And it really makes your life easy on the slopes because you only have one thing to deal with instead of a wrist guard and a glove. And they're warm. This is the FlexMeter Doc Meter Double Splint Glove. It's currently a special order. I do keep some in stock. 
Uh, basically what you have here is the all-season wrist guard minus the puck, okay, built right into this glove. So you've got some palm side protection as well as the patented dorsal splint in this glove. This is the medium, this is the large. You can see that the large next to the large single splint flex meter is actually a little bit larger. So this is great for big hands. Uh, if your hand is not huge, you may want to go down to the medium in the double wrist guard glove.